How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggy With It. I'm Will. I'm Madri. And what are we playing today? Zombie Princess. Zombie Princess. Zombie Princess and the Enchanted Maze uh, is the full thing. I think what, what you, you wanted to say Princess Zombie, didn't you? <laughs> you wanted to say it backwards. <laughs> uh, so it's Zombie Princess and the Enchanted Maze. Uh, we were drawn into this. Uh, we actually posted something on our website when it was first announced. Uh, this is by WizKids Games. I didn't get to do my normal unboxing because I had unboxed lots of extra stuff for Extra Life Game Day, which is coming up this weekend. So we probably have seen all those unboxing videos throughout the week. I think there's one more coming up tomorrow. Uh, and these are the games that we're going to be playing as well as giving away uh, as either part of viewers coming out and watching during game day. All you got to do is come and watch and you will win. Um, or by uh, donating. And right now we finally did the math on it. We've been saying it's probably like $200, $250 in games. I did the math. It's closer to over $500 in board games. Uh, if you want to see what board games are involved, we have a post on Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Instagram. Uh, all you need to do to enter that donation giveaway is donate $10 to Children's Miracle Network and Extra Life Charities. Of course, we always have that link down below. With that said, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, bell notifications so you can come out and watch us this weekend because uh, we have 13 hours of gameplay on Saturday, 13 hours of gameplay on Sunday, multiple games from multiple publishers uh we thank all of them for supporting extra life charities uh hopefully we can get you guys out here to watch with us live with that said this is zombie princess or princess zombie <laughs> um in this game uh it's a tile laying game it's a maze game where we're going to be trying to build a path out uh the objective of the game is for the uh knights here which are nice acrylic knights so i got this little blue knight we've got to bring him down a little bit uh, in the back. So they do have a front and back, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and then there's uh, four of them total. So Avdi is the pink purple knight. I think, yeah, that's the front. And then flip them over to show his back. Yeah, so they're all really cool. Uh, here is the yellow knight. The yellow knight must be like a smarty knight because he's got this big old long. Well, I guess it's a map. He's got a map of the dungeon. That's what it is. It's a map of the dungeon. Uh, and then you have the. Uh, Black Knight, uh, and he's on a cell phone. So he's trying to he's trying to phone a friend to get out. He's got a cell phone, <laughs> uh, so he's trying to get out with his cell phone. It's cool. They're front and back. I always wondered how these like acrylic yeah. standees are. And I think a lot of games. I know a lot of games went mini, like crazy. And I don't mind minis. I like minis. We like painting minis. But I think some games would be fine with this. Um, especially if they're doing a deluxe edition. The games I hate the most are the ones that's still putting cardboard standees. I can't stand cardboard standees. There's no reason for it, right? You know, these, as I've, I've found, you know, from different people in the, in the industry have said that these aren't that expensive to make in comparison to cardboard stuff, right? Uh, especially if you're already making them. Uh, but back to what we were going over. Uh, so these are the other side of those uh, knights, which are their zombie versions so basically the reason they have zombie versions is if our wonderful zombie princess in here catches us uh she turns us into a zombie so the goal of the game is to get out of the maze by collecting your key which is on the opposite side of where you start so my key is way over there obviously key is way over here by laying these map tiles into the grid um what you're going to do is in the maze, you're going to weave your way through. But on your turn, you get to take two different stages. Stage one is the zombie princess phase. So I get to control the zombie princess on my turn. Obviously, gets to control it on her turn. We get to roll this little ZR dice, which means you can either move as much as you want, move two spaces, can't move at all, can't do anything at all. So it's basically how her turn order works. She gets to do the same things we do. So on a turn, there's three actions. You can place a tile. Simple, right? Place a tile so you can get around. You can turn a tile so you can rotate it so that way you can choose to go a different direction if it's not going the direction you want. Um, and you get to move. So the zombie princess, it's the number on the dice. For us, we can move as far as we would like until we get turned into a zombie because we got into the same square or the zombie princess got in our square. Then we can only move two spaces. Um, Avery's knight has left the building. He's already left. He's already oh, exited. Sorry. <laughs> He's completely gone. He's like, I'm done. I'm finished. I win. Um, but yeah, so there's two ways to win is either getting out. That means that player wins or uh, total zombie apocalypse, which I guess technically the winner would be the first person that got turned into a zombie or everybody wins or everybody loses. Hmm. Uh, 
Now there are some variants. There is a five play variant where somebody can play as the zombie princess. Um, there is a variant that involves, um, or what they call advanced mode. It involves these special tiles. Uh, which allow you to do things, um, move tiles, slide tiles, rotate tiles, basically an extra free action. Um, and I think that was the only two, yeah, that was the two extra advanced or variant modes. Um, I think I covered everything. The rule book's only like three pages and some of it's pictures. So it's, it's, it's not got a lot going on. Uh, and I like that they have the same move structure, like what the zombie princess can do is the same as what we can do. So that way, if you're trying to teach this to like younger kids, uh, which whiz kids I think makes a lot younger of those kids. Because I'm kids. a kid, a young kid, but younger. Because <laughs> you're Andreas Nino. Uh, I think because they do make a lot of games that are more uh, family friendly, uh, and this is a family friendly game. I think it's ten ages ten and up, uh, and that's just because of this this piece and the dice can still fit in a little kid's mouth. I guess you know, who knows. <laughs> uh, with that said, Audrey I think has the extra life dice. So I'll let Audrey roll tonight. So of course, the way we choose our uh, first player is the extra life dice of diciness, <laughs> the d20 dice. Uh, so I will take even. Yeah, don't don't run over the zombie the zombie knight. Oh, you're gonna do it over here. What? Seventeen is odd. You that said what? I said even. Normally I do say odd. You're correct. But I said even this evening. So where is... Holy cow, it takes me forever to find the extra life symbol again. All right, so we'll just put that next to the zombie princess castle. Oh, one thing. I don't, did you look inside the castle? No. You look inside the castle. Um, it's actually got her... Whoop, uh, there you go. So it's got actual things <laughs> in through each of the doors. So I, I noticed that when I was putting this together. There's a little mouse in there. There's a fractured mirror on this side. Yep. So each of the doors has a different scene kind of going on on there. I guess that's a broken TV. So this must be a futuristic or a modern day zombie princess. All right. So you get to go first. So we start with three tiles. Mm -hmm. These are the tiles we use for both the princess and the knight. So you have to roll for your princess. See if you get to actually do anything with her this turn. No. X means you get to do nothing, right? It means you don't even get to move her or anything. It's one, two, three, or... Yeah, if you get an X, you skip the zombie princess phase, all right? So you go to your knight's phase, so you don't have to roll for the knight. Now, that is... Uh, I forgot, that is one other variant. I was thinking, there was another variant. The other variant is when the uh, knights get turned into zombies, rather than just allowing them to only move two, you can also use the zombie dice for that, the ZR, the zombie roller, I guess, is what it's called. All place right, so, so place a tile. And you can move as far as you, uh, we can move as much as we can. You can't rotate a tile because there's no other tiles out to rotate. So that is it. So then you just draw back to three tiles. There, we've done an entire turn. There you go, guys. That is the gameplay for, <laughs> no, no, don't, don't go away. Oh, three. Ooh. All right. Well, she can't go anywhere yet, so I need her to go towards you. I'm going to do that one. So place. And then she can't move more than one, so that three was kind of a wasted uh, movement. So we each, want... tile, each tile counts as one. Oh, uh, yes. Not each little Not each square. little box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And I draw to three, so it's back to you. And see, I made it so you can't make her come this way. Well, you can rotate. I forgot you can rotate the tile she's on. So you can rotate. You can do them in any order. So if you wanted to rotate the tile and then place a tile, there's your. Yeah, look at what tiles you have available. Um, or you can place a tile and then rotate a so tile. I want to, uh, to address you, her. You want to. You want to turn me into a zombie. Yeah. You want to, or at least block my path so I can't but go get my key. These two, these are not, are these connections to something? No. Yeah. I mean, I Well, can't... they're blocks. You can't go through them. I mean, but you can rotate it as much as you want. There's no, there's no requirement with the rotating. I'll double check, but I think with the rotate, it's not just like rotate it 90 degrees. It's just rotate it to make sure that it still fits in a grid skip, grid square. 
All right, so you have her there, and then you can then lay your tile in whichever way you want to make her. You haven't moved yet either. All right, see, and then move. Yeah, that's so fine. So move one. Yeah, yeah, because you can't. We don't. The 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 numbers are going to become more impactful as we get more tiles for her to to go across. All right, and now it's. I'm your... not sure if that connects. Yeah, it's open, open. Okay. That connects. There's a picture in the book that does show something similar to that, so that connects. Oh yeah, it's because I saw the, the yeah gray thing, but but yeah. It's That's just the way uh... they're printed. Yep. All right, so now it is your knight's turn. Do I draw again? No, I no, no. no. You, you, you have to use the three that you have. So basically, out of the three you have, two of them are going to be used each turn if you can. Fit the green. <laughs> uh, what, you can't go up? Oh, I gotta look. I can look up there on the TV. I can't see from over here because your hand's in the way. Can I do Yeah. But not because this would not connect. Well, that doesn't have to connect. That's no, just sure. no, because I mean, that's like you're going around in a circle. So you'd be like you think of a hedge maze. Have you ever been in a hedge maze? No. Corn maze. No. Wheat maze. No. Oh, lo siento. Maize, maize. <laughs> <laughs> and a mirror, and a mirror, mirror, man? mirror house. Mirror yeah, house. normally you come to an end. And it just turns right back around on itself. But, so that's kind of the same thing. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going around in a circle. Like that. That's all that is. Okay, it's just like. It's no, there's just a there's a picture in here that shows like that. Yeah. So they show they show like see they show a picture here where it's like um, see how that's got a stop there, but then this one doesn't have a stop, and then that just comes out like yours does. It just kind of stops in the middle of the other one. Okay. So that's fine. I don't think, I, technically, I don't think the tiles, I mean, I think every tile is going to fit. It just has to fit in a grid. You can't do a half tile. Is is They, they mentioned the word grid, and we were questioning what that meant, and it means the grid on the board. I mean, move as far as I can. As, as, yeah, as, as far as, as you want to. Mm -hmm. There. All right. And then... then you draw back to three. And I got an X, so I don't get to move the princess. Oh, did I make my guy go anywhere? You're I'm, still there. I missed my entire turn last time. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I think it was the middle tile that I did. So I'm not going to do the middle tile. I'll just do this straight one just to try to keep it fair. And then I would have drawn you another did tile. The yeah, I only did the princess last time. All right. So, and I didn't move myself either. So I'm going to move. All right. So then we're going to truth this. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Although that's kind of not. Very not good. Getting, I need to go over there. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm trying to go up this way. I don't know. Oh, that's probably not a good way, anyways, because the princess can come after me this way. That was not a good tile, see. Will. All right, your turn. Yeah. Oh, you want to grab the roll? Oh. X. No princessa. No princessa for a Rotate. It means here. Yeah. You can rotate a tile that you like. If like if there's a tile in your way, you can rotate the tile. Or if you want to rotate a tile that that. Not. I mean, it has to be. Yeah, it's got to be adjacent I... to. It's got to be either you or an unoccupied pile. Oh. Rotate a maze tile in any direction. You can rotate any unoccupied maze tile in any. Oh no, it says any, any tile. Any unoccupied. Any unoccupied or the one that you occupy. But or my, the center for castle me, piece. Not for you. I mean, I cannot rotate one here. Yes, you can rotate these. Mm -hmm. You can rotate any tile that does not have a person on it or the tile you're standing on. Or the castle. Because remember, the castle's doors are only a certain direction. Oh, I messed that one up. Oh, no, no, no. Mine was right when I set it up there and then you blocked it off when you turned it. Okay. We're good. Okay. What? What, what? what did you do? Well, yes, you'd still do that, but you can't go over the wall. <laughs> I, 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 well, I you, didn't you do actually, this. You I actually, ta this. you tapped there. I know. He was like, I'm going to fly over the hedge. <laughs> That's not how that works. All right. Uh, and then you draw for your tile. And I got one for the zombie princess. All right, I need to get her back going your direction, so...
Chung is in one square though. I don't like these tiles. This one. Tile there. And then I get to go. So I get to move. It's that rotate I wasn't thinking about. Um, so I'm going to rotate this to prevent you from sending her back. Ah, either way, you can send her back my way. But yeah, put that there. And then my guy is going to go straight. Straight down to Screet. There we go. And I get two tiles. Ooh, that's not a fun tile. Mm -mm. No. Well, maybe you can. If, block I do them me. Like, if I do them like that, then people can see what tiles I've got coming up. Ah, tres. Tres. Oish. So. Uh, so you can do everything in any. You can do anything in any order you want. So technically, yes, you could have her come up this direction. That'd be one. Why not? I mean, you place, you have to place tile, rotate a tile. And then do you want to rotate a tile? There's it's a tile, not. there's a tile you should rotate right now. To block but it has to be where she's not mm -mm. any she can she can rotate any tile but any any that is available yes that is not... that's a tile i would have rotated i wouldn't i would i would have turned it all the way so that the green was here and then you still See, have but then i want to Oh, well, you can't get through well, me that way. I got a wall in the way. That's, well, all right. I so that was one, two. So that's your max, max movement. All right now, it's your guy. Now it's your 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 knight's turn. These two are horrible. So same thing. Your knight can rotate a tile and can place a tile. So I'm going to place this one. Yeah, get you further up north. Zombie's way too close for my comfort, personally. And rotate. You don't have to rotate, but yes. No, I'm not going to rotate. Alright, you're gonna move. And move. Alright. Okie dokie. And dos. All right, I gotta get her. I gotta get her going back towards you. All right. So let me double check her. See, make sure it is that she can rotate. I wonder if you're supposed to take the entire movement at one time before you rotate or anything. Uh, move the zombie. Yeah, I think you. Ha I think you're supposed to move her all at once. So you'd want to finish your actions and then move her, which wouldn't have impacted you because you would have rotated this, and she can still, she still would have been able to get off of it to come up there. So you have to finish her movement before you place a tile or do something else. You want to kind of set her path and then move her. Okay. Same with us. It's not like we can move and then stop and then move. You kind of have to do it all in one action. I'm gonna move her back this way. I'm gonna rotate this tile back that way. She's still closer to me than you. No bueno. Um, no bueno. Okay. So this tile won't do me any good because that's blocked off. That won't. Wow, none of them are gonna do me any good. But I can rotate a tile. Hang on. Never mind. I can rotate a tile. Rotate this this way and then I use oh I didn't place a tile for her and... hey that tile came in handy <laughs> all right and I place this tile for me no 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 I need that tile oh that didn't do what I wanted it to do this one 
Hang on. Take backs. Still don't help me. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. Hold up, princess! <laughs> I'm going that way. I'll just, I'll just go that way. I just completely messed that up. Because this, this just... I was thinking the tile was a different direction. I had two very bad tiles. Well, actually, I actually had three very bad tiles. Because this H isn't any much better than the uh, plus that I had. It's an H, and that's a plus. Yes, 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 and that's that's a J. Yes, a that's a Z. J. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a lowercase H or a Y. All right, uh, Princesa. 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 Oh, Tres. Tres. Oish. I don't think you can turn anything to get me though. See. I could play one here. This is this is still a pack. Uh no, oh, up and around, yeah. Oh, this one is. This. Yeah. Place, mm -hmm. rotate. So it'd be one, two, and then back on there would be three. Oh, you, oh, you mean the amount yeah, of Yeah, your tile? amount of movement, yeah. How much, how so, far you can actually move, so it'd be one to go on that tile, two to go on that tile, three to go on that tile. Mm, almost caught up to me. All right. To knight. How do you say knight in Espanol? Un caballero. Caballero. Oh, tres caballeros. Mm. I thought they were mariachi singers. I don't know, it was three the three knights. Hmm. Oh, three musketeers. Oh, a knight is a musketeer? What do you call the Zodiac Knights? Caballeros del Zodiaco. Is that a... There's yeah, knights in the Zodiac? No, don't you, don't you call it that? It's a... It's an anime thing, I think. No, oh, I've probably not seen it. Caballeros del Zodiaco. Huh? Is that an anime I have to watch now? It probably won't be as good in English. I don't know if that's a name in English. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. So where are you taking your Mr. Man? Nope, that uh, blocks you into where you basically are. No, because I can continue building that way, no? Oh, yeah, you could. And this one. See. Because if I do this, well, also. Well, I'll sand that other one because that gets you up and over, but. I mean, it, the thing is, you don't know what your next tile is. You don't know what you're going to be able to build this off of. This one? Do you want to take me back? No, I don't take you back. Because the other side's still empty. I mean, unless you think that's a more valuable piece. Whichever one you want. They're both going to do basically the same thing. It's just what are you going to be able to attach one later. Okay. Nope. Okay, place. Place. Rotate if you want to okay. rotate something. Remember, you can even rotate your path that's behind you to block things from coming up from behind you as well. I think that's why they have the corners like that, so you can grab them from like the corners. Yes, yes. I think. I was about to think the same thing. I was like, well, how do you get them up? Like, you know, anytime you move them, you just can move everything around. Like another game we had that was hard to move. Uh, what was that? It was recent game that we played. Yeah. I don't remember which one. I'm trying to remember what, what allowed us to move, what game allowed us to move tiles and move things. Oh, it was the um, Hamsters vs. Hippos, the Kickstarter game. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the game, and we're going to play that again. So we, we'll get to see how fun it is to play with tiles on Hamsters vs. Hippos. We get to do the same thing uh, this weekend for game day for Extra Life. So we'll see how that works. See if we get any more practice with our tile laying. Okay. All right, and then refill your tiles. Two. All right. So she, I, 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 I looked this up and I forgot. I had probably even said it. Now I've forgotten. 
No, so she can move, she can rotate any unoccupied tile as well. Yeah, I do and you One, do. Two. No, William. I think that's that's the thing with the two player game. I think two player it's really like a, a back and forth battle with the with the princess. I think she plays less of a role. But you gotta think in like a four player game, everybody would be controlling that each turn. So it's very possible that I start, say it's closest to me, and if somebody else went after you, they would keep it going towards me, right? Whereas, since it's just the two of us, we're always going to send it back towards the other person. Mm -hmm. Probably she's kind of in my way where I need to go now. All right. Uh, and then she lays a tile, which uh, I don't know if I want to. Uh, I guess I'll just lay this one since I didn't want this one. And then I will use this one. No, that's not good. That's going to take me around in a circle. Oh, I may have blocked myself in. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I will go there. That takes me up there. Takes me over here. No, adios, chica! Yeah, I'm, you're I'm, in the I'm, I'm, I'm blocked. <laughs> well, now I'm blocked. I'd, I'd have to rotate some tiles to get there. All right. That was smart. <laughs> that was a good move. Oh, did I rotate a tile? She got rage. Did I rotate a tile? No. No. I didn't uh, yeah. No? No, I didn't rotate a tile. I rotated a tile for her. I didn't rotate a tile for me. All right, she got... Oh, that means she can go as far as she can. Which means you kind of want to make sure that everything's... Oh, she's got me. She's got me. It doesn't matter. She All got right. me. I am on zombie now. <laughs> now it's two against one. Now I don't have to worry about trying to get that stupid key anymore. So now you both. Want she still to... she still gets to lay a tile. So at this point, you're going to want to lay a tile to prevent us from getting to you, or try to. Now, do we want to play with the zombie dice rules for me too? No, this is the no. Huh? Well, I, we can either play with the zombie dice rules, or I'll just do the... I think just doing the two would make it easier. With the knights, you can play with the zombie dice as well. So you can use the zombie dice to roll for the knights in the advanced mode and no, the princess. No, don't change. Don't... Well, the benefit of that is then, then there's a chance that my knight doesn't move because I get an X. No, we're playing... The regular mode? Okay, we'll play regular mode. Uh, okay, so I did what? You moved her, you placed her. You have not rotated anything yet. So at this point, you're playing the zombie. You're going to be making the zombie princess run away from you every turn, basically, and trying to rotate tiles to block her from getting to you. Now, all right. Mm -hmm. So now it's your knight's turn. No. And he's right. same thing. Now your knight can rotate a tile too. All right. I'm gonna move mm. there. Right? Yeah. Alright. Then rotate something. This way so the camera can still see him a little bit. Not really, you're kind of hiding behind the castle. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, rotate to block more things off from coming to get you. Uh, I, yeah, kind of I, I'd block where. Well, yeah, my I mean, guys. No, you're right, here. you're right. Our guys would come up that way at some point. So, you're right. All right. So, all right. And a two. So at least she gets to go. Um. Oh, I didn't replace my tiles. Which which two did you take from? Do you remember? All right. So then I'll just take these two. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So she can go through the castle, but we're currently standing on it, and unfortunately, I'm on it, which means she can't... No, she can turn it because I'm on it, so. I'm going to place this tile here. Actually, I don't know if she's allowed to do that. 
Maybe not. It says she can go through the castle. She can't go in the castle. So a tile would probably already have to be placed on the other side of the castle, I would think, for her to be able to go through to that tile. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Um... Rotate that one. <laughs> uh, and then I put this one here. And she gets to go one. Can't two. how did she jump there? Oh, you're right. Oh, there's a wall there. That whole thing was basically a futile effort of nothingness. I missed that completely. Because I rotated that one to go into it. Wish. Well, that was easy to do, though. All right, well, whatever. Okay, so she's going to go one. She's going one. She's not going two. Does she have to take her full movements? Let's say you must. Oh, you can. Good, it's got the word can. No, I'm going to leave her. Actually, I'm leaving her here. I'm not even going to move her. I'm leaving her there because I think we're good to go back that way. So now it's my guy's turn. How? Oh. So, I'm going to rotate the tile that both of us are on. That. Put it back. And then I can go is two spots. So, one, two. And then I can't lay a tile because there's nowhere for me to lay a tile. Okay. Back to you. Do you still do the, yeah, you still do the princess. You're just going to be moving her away, is basically what's going to happen. So you can rotate and move her away. Pretty much you want to you rotate that one so you can move her this direction somehow. Okay. She was, she was in here. It, she was just on that side. So and then... You move her up to two. I don't think you can make, yeah, so you can go, yeah, so you can go one. That well, one, does this count as one? Where she no, was? no, that was just where she was. Uh, and then so you still one. get to lay a tile. For her. For her, to block her, yeah. This has turned in a whole, totally different game, hasn't it? You should give me a U. That wasn't very nice. It was very nice. That is not very nice. Yeah, me, me, guy. Okay, now it's your guy. Okay, where are you going? <laughs> You're good enough. <laughs> oh, earthquake! That's the end. That's from your chair underneath. So hopefully, guys, this is the last time you guys have to see this cell phone, uh, which I guess is a good thing and a bad thing. The bad thing is, of course, we won't have a way to show you guys like things right here in the camera. Uh, but the good thing is, the kit will no longer be here. Uh, we won't be hitting it anymore. Okay, how tired is muy bien? Oh, let's see. All right, you gonna move up there? No, I am thinking what to block, how to block you. Well, move up there. Well, remember, you got to make it back in here. I want a key. See, but you gotta get your key, and then you gotta make it back here. So to block me, you're going to have to turn this tile in some direction to block me. Let me cast a little, a little bit. That way we can see what's back there. <laughs> Castle's cute and all, but it, it kind of is, you know, yeah. in a way. All right. Amor, you didn't, you didn't block me. No. I don't think there's any way you can block me. Oh, well, but this yeah, that blocked me. me. No, that blocked me. Okay. Well, yes and no, because I can rotate it. Don't rotate. <laughs> I mean, ah. all right, well, <laughs> princess, um, draw your tiles. Yeah? Draw your tiles. That's some princess's turn. Oh. <laughs> she got the ZR. Can uh, I? No, you can't do anything. Uh, no, dang it, I can't. There's no tile that I can move that will let her go like really far. Um, I 
no way to rotate this. Um, that's not going to help me. Oh, eesh. I get a perfect roll and I can't use it. That's how you got me. You got me with that one. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I can move this, but then this tile's in the way. Like, I could do that. And that tile, so I can move and go all the way down to here. That didn't help me. All right, you can't lay a tile because there's nowhere to lay a tile. So my guy gets to go, so he gets to rotate a tile. And then he gets to go two spots. One, two. Hola! How are you doing? But where are you? So where are you? I'm zombie? You're a zombie now. It's the some zombie apocalypse. Apocalypto de zombie. That that meant nobody won? The zombie yeah, princess I won? Just... The zombie princess won? The last one to become a zombie. See? Kill a zombie. Da da da. Find yourself zombie. Yeah, it's as if they end up on a tile adjacent to you because of rotation, then you turn into a zombie automatically. Uh, zombie can only be turned during the... Oh, no, not the turn, but the you have to actually do it part of the move action. So if you're one tile away, you don't get them. Um, it's, it's two maze tiles. So I don't. That's the part I didn't understand when I was talking about when the moves enable to land on a square occupied by your knight kind of weird that they have it i i get why they said square because it has to be the square occupied by your knight not the tile because like she could come in here and then that's not tech or like my zombie yeah. that's not technically but this since i can move through that entire tile then that's then, it, then it counts yeah all right guys so there you go that is the new game by whiz kids uh zombie princess and the enchanted the enchanted maze. I don't know what was so enchanted. I guess it was enchanted because we could twist well, yeah. the uh, move the things around. Uh, so in a two-player game, it seems like it is a very take daddy type game or, or more of a keep away. Not take that. It's more of a keep away where we're trying to keep the zombie princess away from both of us um, during that initial thing. Once she turned one of us into a zombie, it's almost downhill from there mm -hmm. unless Adri can really make some good like headway uh and do some good blocking um and then she might have been able to get to her key before the zombies like the princess was she got blocked out but my guy had made it through uh and that kind of not to say it's unfair i got good dice roll if i had gotten an x on one of those turns i wouldn't have been able to turn mm -hmm. one of yeah. those tiles so i've only had one tile to turn instead of two but because i could turn two i was able to remake the path that you unmade um Fun? Yes. Want to try it with more people? Yeah, we'll try it with our. We'll try. Jaden mm -hmm. would like it. It's got zombies. Yeah. <laughs> it's got pretty colors. That was like I said. That was the reason we reached out to WizKids when we posted this on our website. Love the colors. Love the the graphic and the art design uh, of the game. Um, so if you're interested in this game, of course, we always have a link down below in the show notes. Uh, it's an affiliate link. Doesn't cost you anything. Earns us ten cents. <laughs> 10 cents adds up because remember any any amount of money we earn either through our memberships because of course we are a youtube channel that has memberships not patreon uh you can click that membership button to join and get some custom emojis to use in chat when we go on our live streams um or anything that we make through our affiliate program through amazon we of course donate that to extra life charities as well uh if you would like to donate to extra life charities you can do that directly as well by clicking the link below that also gets you the chance to win that big giveaway that we have like I said, almost $500 worth of board games, um, and it's all going towards good calls, right? It's going towards Children's Miracle Network and the Para Los Niños. Para Los Niños. Para Los Niños. Uh, but of course, guys, hit that subscribe, like button, comment, share the video, all that YouTube stuff. And until next time. Adios. Peace.